I didn't probably brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit every week. We find the latest and greatest new things. This week is Texas Instruments Lady Ada. What is this week's new product introduction? Oh, I'm glad you asked. This week's Ad MPI is on the TI TPS 61022. It is a new all in one synchronous boost converter from TI. It looks like this. It's so small. It's a SOT uh, 5X3, I think is the package. It's like a little tiny eight pin chip, but it's extremely powerful. This thing features a 5.5 amp integrated um, uh, pass uh, control fed on the inside and can give you 1.8 volts to 5.5 input and 2.2 to 5.5 output. It is adjustable, but pretty much it's a five volt boost converter that can give you up to two amps from a lithium ion or lithium polymer battery. Um, it's small, it's inexpensive, it's powerful, and it's kind of all in one because it's synchronous um, and it has uh, the uh, uh, internal, uh, the, the pass transistor, the power transistor um, internal to the chip. It also has a couple settings like PFM versus PWM mode and has a power good output. Um, you might be familiar with this family. Um, this is a similar chip. This is a six pin version. This is the TPS 61023, which uh, we have used. And this one's great. This gives you about one amp at five volts output. Um, and uh, this baby uh, we have in the store is our mini boost, which you know we expect you to put in a LiPo in, get five volt out, one amp. But um, a lot of people want more current. So that's why the TPS 61022, uh, sorry, 033 comes in. Pardon me. Uh, so you can see it's super easy to get wired up. You need basically only an input capacitor, an output bulk capacitor, and a uh, inductor, you know, half a micro Henry or one micro Henry inductor. Um, the size of the chip is about uh, two by one and a half millimeters. And the inductor you'll see is about four by four millimeters. Um, there is a feedback that you can use to connect if you want to have an adjustable output voltage. But if you just want five volts, turns out you can just tie the um, FB pin to, I think, V in. It'll automatically detect it and give you five volts out. Um, we're familiar with the TI TPS series because we've used them a lot in our Power Boost chips. Um, it's the Power Boost 500 and 1000. Um, our boost converters that we've used to get from one cell lithium ion or lithium polymer to 500 milliamps or 1000 milliamps, one amp. Um, these are fairly old products. We've had these for like, you know, probably almost a decade now. It's probably been like six, seven years. Um, we eventually originally made this because there were a lot of people who wanted to make a DIY cell phone chargers or you wanted to run something like an Arduino of a lithium ion battery. And this is kind of an all in one board um, that doesn't have some of the downsides of um usb power packs because you can you know of course get an off the shelf lipstick power pack but uh those often don't deal with low current draw well um and also they're not as easy to embed because they're kind of all uh, in one you can't change the battery size so these boards are kind of you know designed for for makers and creators who um, need five volts out and a chargeable battery in uh so this one uses um the power boost one 500 uses the tps uh one TPS 61090, and then the Power Boost 1000 uses the TPS 61030. Those are two and four amp internal switch a piece. So the two amp one will give you 500 milliamps out. Please remember that the, this switch has to handle the input current peak, not just the output current. And if you're boosting to five volts and you know you have 90% efficiency and your battery gets as low as 2.5 volts, Blah blah blah. You can do the math. Basically, uh, you know, you can get 500 milliamps out of the uh, TPS 61090, or um, one amp out of the TPS 61030. But people are always asking me, "Well, why don't you have the Power Boost 2000?" Right? It's like you have a 500 milliamp, 1000 milliamp, but we want two amps. Why? Because you're getting something like a Raspberry Pi single board computer or you've got really big screens, or you've got a lot of, you know, motors or whatever accessories, you need two amps of power. Um, well, this chip will do it, and it will do it at pretty good efficiency as well. 
if your VIN is around 3.3 to 3.6 volts, which is uh, kind of what you'll get out of a lithium ion battery in the prime of its life, 90% efficiency, um, you'll get two amps out at PWM mode. And then, you know, you could always go, if you're, you're dealing with uh, low current, so on, on the right-hand side, there's a, um, a graph of the efficiency with PFM mode. Um, that's good for low current draws, so you see, if you're dealing with uh, 10 or less. Um, yeah, basically, like, if you're under 200 milliamps, you might want, or 100 milliamps, you might want to change to PFM mode. You'll get better efficiency. Uh, it's not good at high current. It's good at low current. So there is a GPIO pin, you know, or IO pin that you can connect to switch between the two. Of course, whatever you're using with this power boost, uh, this, sorry, the TPS chip, you'll need to know what the current is and adjust it. So it does require a little bit of finessing. It's not automatic, um, but there is a pin that you can use to easily control uh, which mode it's in. Um, it's a fully synchronous integrated boost converter, which is nice. You can see that um, one of the benefits of that is, of course, the bill of materials is less. You don't have to purchase a separate uh, transistor or um, low uh, forward voltage shock diode. Instead, it uh, does it all for you with internal transistors that are very low RDS on. I think it's like 20 and 40 milliohm RDS on um, transistors. And it has a, a gate driver as well for you, um, which is super nice. Uh, it also means that the input and output are completely disconnected when uh, disabled. The enable pin is off, which is really handy. So you don't have to worry about back powering. Um, the body diodes um, aren't something you have to be concerned about, and there's no leakage through um, some shocky diode. Um, there, that mode pin on the left, that's the for PFM versus PWM. There is a PG power good output. So you can use that to indicate LED or to connect to some other circuitry. Um, it will tell you when um, the input power is sufficient to drive the output. Uh, ground, again, feedback, you can use a wizard divider or just tie it to VIN, and then the enable pin, um, which can be used for uh, total low power disconnection of everything. Um, it's a very small chip. Like I said, it's an 8-pin SOT 5X3, I think is the part number. And, um, you know, the layout they designed, you know, they, they made the pin so uh, in order to make it very easy for you to do the layout with very big, chunky, copper pores and you'll need those copper pores because remember you're you're pulling about five and a half amps through these traces so the v in v out uh, inductor trace and the ground pads you're going to want them to be very big you know of course it's always better to do a four layer but i think you get away with two layer um especially if you have two ounce copper on the outer two layers uh just make sure you have a nice big ground plane um and a nice v out and v in plane and you'll need the bulk capacitance as well uh, they do have some suggestions for, um, you know, whether you want to use electrolytic or tantalum or ceramic. And then don't forget the thing that is going to provide power, so your battery, if you're using a lithium ion battery, um, you can use a single, you know, 18650 cell, or this is three parallelized and uh, goes through a protection circuit. But you need this to be able to supply five amps also, which is non-trivial, right? So just make sure whatever pack you use or whatever battery or power source, um, that that, it, you know, you want to have a protection cell, but that protection circuitry can't trip before you hit the amount of current that you want to draw out of it. So uh, just something to be, uh, to consider, um, you know, I when I first put together a chip, uh, a boost converter with this kind of chip, I was like, why am I not able to get, you know, two amps out of it? Because my battery was current limiting it. Because um, that input has to be, again, much higher by the proportion of the input to the output voltage. Uh, available voltage gate. It's in stock. Lots of them are about a dollar less in quantity. The TPS 61033. Sorry, I said 022. Again, my, my numbers mixed. They, uh, um, there is a 61022. And it's also a very good chip. I think that was the 8 amp version. Um, but it's not a new new chip. It's a little bit bigger too. But this one um, would be great. And the data sheet even says, yes, absolutely. You can get 2 amps out of this from a lithium battery uh, 5 volts. So um, this one is a perfect power boost 2000 chip all right and that's this week's great search sorry on npi which is a great search sort of NPI on npi